All right, I'm about to show you something. If you have a string trimmer that's been working really, really good, no issues, and then all of a sudden one day you're using it, and as you're giving it throttle, it bogs down, and then revs up, and you're able to cut, and it just gets worse and worse over time. Where the idle actually develops a fast idle, to where it starts to spin the implement, the attachment. And again, when you try to give it gas, I'm about to show you what nine times out of ten the problem is before you start messing with the needles because if you open up the high-speed needle that will fix the problem for a short time it'll just start doing it again until opening the needle won't do anything but I'm gonna show you what the issue is most of the time uh, you remove the air filter cover pull out the air filter that'll give you access to those two nuts remove those slide this cover off and this right here, there's two Phillips screws right there. Remove those. All right, I want you to remove the two Phillips screws. That comes off and right there. That's the issue. That's the inlet screen. That's where the fuel comes in. So when you prime it or when it, the pump is working, the, the, pump, the fuel pump in the carburetor is sucking up the fuel, coming through here, coming in through the, the block, the carburetor block, well, through this thing, then going in here. And you see that? See how it's filled with like that sawdust looking stuff? What you do is you get you a uh, get you a Q-tip or some be, be gentle and just clean that off. And that's your, that's your problem. That's your issue. Basically, the machine is starving for fuel because of that. Once you clean that out, put it back together, it'll run just like it was running before. Like I said, I like using a Q-tip. Just take a Q-tip. See that? Clean that out. It's, oh man, now that the fuel is gone, you can really see it. See in there? Get that clean. Once that's clean, put it back together. Alright, I apologize for the wind, but hopefully you can hear me, but I just put it back together. And this is all I use to fix it, a key tip. But again, if your machine is bobbing down, uh, remove that carburetor cover, clean out that little screen, throw it back together and try that first before you can mess with the mixer needles.